Tonight, we want to know what police believe happened before a deadly mass shooting in Muncie. That's right. 18 people were hurt during that shooting Sunday morning. One man died. Police also revealing today what led to the one arrest that they've made. Our John Duran spent the entire day in Muncie today, and while he was there, he got a chance to ask police more questions about the investigation. Muncie police say John Vance was taken into custody Tuesday evening for allegedly firing shots at a block party on Muncie South Side early Sunday morning. Joseph Bonner was killed by gunfire that morning and police say just before shots were fired, a witness allegedly told them Joseph Bonner and John Vance got into an argument that turned physical and then that witness allegedly told police Vance pulled out a gun and started firing. Vance is preliminarily charged with two counts of aggravated battery, criminal recklessness, and unlawful possession of a firearm by a serious violent felon. The charges at this time for which Vance was arrested, they do not include charges relating to the killing of Joseph Bonner. Um, the investigation in his death and the events of July 30th are still rapidly evolving and ongoing and uh, it's far from over. The probable cause affidavit shows a witness saw Vance point a handgun at a crowd of people and pull the trigger. That witness says they heard five to six gunshots. Muncie police wouldn't say if Vance was the only one to fire shots Sunday morning. I'm not going to comment on any evidence collected or any guns that have been collected at this time. Police say Vance was taken into custody during a traffic stop in Muncie Tuesday evening, but wouldn't say if he's the only person to potentially face charges. I can't comment as far as future arrests, but we still have a lot to work and a lot of follow ups to complete. The prosecutor's office says it anticipates filing formal charges against Vance in the coming days. Vance is currently at the Delaware County Justice Center being held on a $105,000 bond. Coming up at six, we'll tell you what police say they did to try to stop the block party before shots were fired. In Muncie, John Duran, 13 News. And tonight, Muncie police tell us three victims are still recovering at hospitals here in Indianapolis. Three others still recovering at Ball Memorial in Muncie.